Honorable Deputy Speaker, Mr. President, on behalf of the ACDP President, Reverend Dr. Kenneth Meshwe, and our ACDP leadership, I wish to state again that the ACDP is not a part of the GNU for reasons that we have made clear. What the ACDP will do is to fulfill its constitutional mandate of holding the executive to account. It is a role that we take seriously and one that we will not shy away from. We do wish to wish the members of the GNU well, for we most certainly, as the ACDP, do not wish to see South Africa becoming a failed state. The ACDP agrees, Mr. President, that we have a responsibility for each other, and our well-being cannot be separated from that of our fellow South Africans. This is a responsibility that we as politicians, and indeed you, Mr. President, cannot renege on, for we are our brother's keeper. The first two GNU priorities of driving inclusive growth and job creation, and secondly, reducing poverty and tackling the high cost of living is going to be a mammoth task. Why? Because we are currently facing a fiscal crisis. We have a debt to GDP of some 74%, a budget deficit of over 300 billion, which will be added to the already accumulated debt of over 5 trillion. Our debt service costs are crowding out key service delivery programs from our different departments. We have a shrinking tax base where 3 million taxpayers contribute 95% of government revenue. We have one of the highest unemployment rates in the world. Budgets in most departments have been... spoken of over so many years has now become so long that it is strangling SMMEs and economic growth. This, Mr. President, has happened under your watch. Adding five more, five more years to your nine wasted years. So what budget cuts mean is that for the next financial year, service delivery will be impeded. Your third priority of building a capable and ethical and developmental state points to a current incapable state, incapable of carrying out programs set in our department's APPs, incapable of carrying out effective service delivery, evidenced by all of the service delivery protests across the country, incapable of protecting our communities, evidenced by our high crime rate and drug-infested communities where policemen and women are on the take. Additionally, underscored by a murder rate of 70 people per day and over 130 women that are raped in South Africa every day. And so when we speak of building a capable, ethical, developmental state, it is against this backdrop, backdrop that it has to be created. Mr. President, our President Dr. Meshwe warned you about inviting the judgment of God upon yourself and your party regarding the hypocritical international position taken on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Let this be your second warning. The ACGP agrees with the economic growth that is inclusive and transformational. We disagree on the how paradigm and have stated multiple times that race-based policies are a hindrance to structural reform and economic growth. The ACDP has an unselfish love and commitment to the people of South Africa. We strive and will continue to strive to use our skills, talents, and resources to enhance Africa's competitive, South Africa's competitive and comparative advantages and leverage on our economies of scale so as to grow our industrial base and reduce unemployment. Honorable this member, is the commitment expired. of the ACDP to South Africa. Thank you.